really important for Prospect to try and get some points on the board tonight, not just because the first grade side hasn't all year, but because their reserve grade side was battered 5-0 by the grand final reigning champions. Of course, there's a chance here for Amabile to strike towards goal, and it's a save apiece at either end. You know, and the deeper sitting Amabile today will be great fun to watch. Shane Prasad now being chased down, and he was clipped there by Vela. Bezina picks it up in an unfamiliar wide position. He goes to clip it in. It's a really good-looking ball. There is Tom Guthrie over the bar. If you're tuning in from the YouTube or the Facebook live stream, of course, you can leave your comments. Let us know your thoughts on the game. Let us know. Well, forget about that because they're through here. Prospect of a chance. Benny Dow Keith makes himself big. Bet your house on that one. Sent in off the free kick. And there was Majeri. And it was uncontested. Dangerously, Puffett knows he has to be quick to it. And he's got some real nice connection on that. Can this cause some dismay at the back? Yolevsky is threatening there. Rising highest, Blake Ford. There is Julian Yolevsky now. The 16-year-old, he goes for goal. It goes wide. Oh, Corbello did so well there. He's been beaten this time, though, finally. The 18-year-old doing such a good shift. Great pass. Can he finish, Brendan Bazina? No, it's gone wide. And Quakers Juniors drew two all. So, Rivo down to eighth. Quakers Tigers leapfrog them. It means ropes are still in sixth as Prospect try to form an attack here. Yolevsky might pick up the loose ball off of Gaffer. He sends it in. It's passed out. Keith cleared by Prasad. And the belay is there. Oh, it's just gone over. Goal. Now he's out of position a little bit. Can Nadira play quickly? Gaffer gives away a tactical foul there. Honestly, he should probably get a yellow card after this play ends. Here it's picked up by Amabile. Not really known for his crossing, but can he deliver in? It's a very dangerous looking ball. Oh, off the post and back into the hands of a grateful. Now it's finally come into his line of sight. Inside pass to find Julian Yolevsky. Who then clips it out wide. Dow Keith read it straight away though. Picked up here. Amabile who's been scythed to the ground. Free kick in a real dangerous spot. In fact, I might even leave that for half time. Someone send me a text to remind me to do that before we go to the sheds. Anyway, back to the point here. I think that's Matteo Vela standing over it. Ben Dow Keith has picked his side. It goes over the wall and over the bar. Half time, of course, and absolutely lifts the spirits around this place. Two hands raised here by Danny Mack. Sent in very dangerously. No one competing for it, though, even though Puffett dropped it. He had no quarrels with claiming the second ball. And he's now thumped it away. There is Matteo Vela. Blake Ford just seemed to hang up in the air there. Vela now, who's been all across that front line, he's tripped over his own feet there. Here is Julian Yolevsky. Can it feed it back? He's gone for the strike himself. It was looked to have been spilled by Ben Dow Keith, but in the end it was just because of the awkward... Majeri, who haven't sent on the ball as much in the last 10 minutes or so, he's reached out there and he's had the ball taken off him. That's a nice ball fitting behind. There's a square opportunity for Wicks. Does he want to take it himself? Wicks still now. Wicks still now. It's his fourth goal of the year. It's maybe the most important one as well. Really, really solid run. Great pass by Danny Mack to find him. And it's such a typically brilliant worker's goal. How many times over the years have we seen that exact combination happen? And it works a charm, a treat, a delight once again at Blacktown Football Park this time. 1-0 to workers. Massive goal in the context of their season. And they're going to likely head into half time with a lead that they've had to. Which team means now that even if they were to win today on the table, they would still be last place holding the spoon. Here is Danny Mack now with even more time to pick out his pass. And look what happens when you give him more time, he gives it away. They've kept it though and now fed to Guthrie who smacks it a goal. And the rebound's kind to prospect, that is. And the run is so good. It's just so, so delightful to watch. Another great ball, this time by Prasad to find Chris Wicks. Chris Wicks has kept it. He squares it. It's Tom Guthrie. Big save, Puppet. As Prospect are just trying to keep themselves surviving in this game. Their heads are just above the water. Back from striker to centre back. Picked up here Amabile. Finally, they use their midfield. Can they find a goal that would be perhaps in the last 12 minutes or so? The momentum would suggest it's undeserved. But they've had chances in this game. Nadira... And Vela, who is left-footed, Vela there, and it goes wide. Goal kick it will be. Aaron Graham that having a chat to the sideline referee. Dow Keith, a bit of a poor touch from him. He might have to slow him down by hook or by crook. 
Picked up here, Yolevsky from distance. Had a nice angle to it, bit of whip. It was on target. Separates these two teams. Now it's Denny Mack who helped assist that goal. He now tries to find his second. What a ball, Ryan Fitzgerald. Onto his left, Fitzy, strong left arm. Who might it fall to? Guthrie, who's headed back into the mixer. It's back here to Fitzy. He then tries to clip it in. It'll be a corner. We Living dangerous, but when you get that pass right, it's beautiful. It's a thing of real beauty. Yolevsky has had a good little game, just quietly. Duyo. Nice touch, Yolevsky again. Mateo Vela. Sid Nadira. He goes for goal now and tips over by Dow Keith. That's Look at Vela doing the closing down, though. Ford has time to think about it. Sends it forward to the goal scorer. Nice tackle. Tarkos, is there something brewing here for Prospect? Ball delivered in. Nice idea. Who will get there first? It's going to bounce in. Prospect have a leveler. It's a huge goal for Prospect, who have capitalized on the mistake. Sid Nadira's first goal in first grade, his first of the season in first grade, is a huge, huge goal. And can they now use this to springboard in this game? They really, really need to find a second one here. It's muted celebrations because they know that there's a big, big last 40-odd minutes here. It was the strong pressing of Vela. Then it was the quick tackle of George Sarkos. And then the brilliant, brilliant clip in. And the... Sent forward again, Yulevsky. This is a huge moment for the 16-year-old. Oh, another big save, Ben Dow Keith. Sent in again, this time with his left foot, Yulevsky trying to recycle it. A huge moment. Here he is again. Good peel away run by Vela in the middle there. Oh, it's been left by Majeri and then struck a goal and wide of the right side upright. And ball called, so now Prospect have a chance to whip it in. This is another big moment here. They do have a bit of height. Are they willing to commit those numbers forward? They're not quite as tall as workers, though. Bazina's six foot. Danny Max six foot. Fitzy's teetering on that. Dow Keith is at least six one. Ball comes in. Dangerous looking ball. Oh, that's the best chance since the goal. Right, Bazina. There is Gaffer. Bazina again turns. Plays it square to Danny Mac. Living dangerously capable though. Feeds it in behind. Big moment here. Ryan Fitzgerald can square to Tom Guthrie. There it is. He's made amends for the miss just a couple of minutes ago by putting them back in front. A lead surrendered, a lead restored. A first match of the round goal in these new, or should I say, returning colours for Tom Guthrie. The number eight, playing this year as a nine, picks up his second goal of the season. His third I see, of the season, I should say, his second goal contribution in match of the round games. Huge, huge goal, and that fourth place spot is now just 20 odd minutes away from being clinched. Kept that ball. Look at the technique on that. Did he handball that? No, was the call. So, in the end, we're going to have to call that a great touch. Guthrie, so far, right now, the match winner. What an assist it was for Ryan Fitzgerald. He's got a chance now to have the favour return to him. Smashed wide was caught by Skorich. Was there a foul there? No, said Leighton of the referee, sent towards Appiah. Nice high foot, won it cleanly though, Sarkos. And now Sarkos, and now Sarkos, it was saved. Dal Keith, letting it go for as long as he can. Almost assuredly give them the three points. Big, big moment here for Prospect defensively. Can workers wrap up this game? Another good technique on the ball. Puffer came, and the ball's found its way in. It's Chris Dow Keith with his fourth 
goal of the season, his second ever match of the round goal, and it's probably going to wrap up three points here. It was another brilliantly hit in set piece. They are just so, so effective at them, and they do have the height advantage over Prospect. And unfortunately, it's a saying that we've used a couple of times now already for them. The foul. And it's slowed down a little bit here, and even though they're meant to be doing the defending of their lead, they're the ones attacking, trying to extend on it. Here they go again. Oh, down they go, penalty given. It's going to be four imminently. Yellow card's going to be given. And unfortunately, it's going to go from bad to worse from prospect, it seems. Five minutes, but in PL1, that's just quite not enough. So Guthrie wants his second goal tonight. From the spot, we know workers have struggled at times, but Guthrie won't have those issues trail through. The points now wrapped up for Blacktown workers who are going to find themselves in fourth spots. This was an important night for them. They knew the stresses of knowing the results happening around the ground before them. It can put extra pressure on, but they have not let that crumple them tonight. They surrendered the lead only for about 10 to 12 minutes. Sarkos living dangerously. Danny Mack was there, so was Chum. Stepping in there again, Danny Mack. This time Brandon Ford, who loves the match of the round goal. Down he goes. Oh, it's the second penalty that's been given. I thought there might have been a touch of the ball. That wasn't the case to be. Tom Guthrie's on a hat-trick. Will he take it again? It will probably be his first hat-trick for a long, long time. We know workers, boys in the match of the round games, love to score in spades. Guthrie from the spot again. Same direction, same result. Match of the round hat-trick for the elusive Tom Guthrie. And prospects have fallen on their sword. A five-star performance for the team now up into fourth. Sent away. Whistles of the lips. And that brings an end to a cold night here at Blacktown Football Park. Warmed by the brilliance of Blacktown workers, but for prospects, a tough, tough night for them. They were in it. They were so very much in it, and they had their chances, and they didn't take them. Workers just put that bit between their teeth for the last third of the game and really extended out their lead. And they've actually put themselves onto, negative, onto exactly a cancelled-out goal difference of zero. So they've amended their goal difference woes, and they're actually now only two behind that of Eastern Creek, who had five heading into today and will be on two after losing 3-0 to Duneside. So that puts them above the Eastern Creek as well into fourth place. A big day for them. A Tom Guthrie hat-trick, having never scored in the match of the round game for workers. He's now got three in the one.